I'm slipping. I'm falling. I can't get up. Get me back on my feet so I can tear it up. I've been through mad different phases like mazes to find my way. And now I know happy days are not far away. If I'm strong enough, I live long enough to see my kids doing something more constructive with their life than doing bids. Mm. This brother right here, this ain't no fake Johnny come lately like, oh, some rappers passed away and all of a sudden you're a fan. Nah. I literally, truly, sincerely was a fan of DMX. 98, 99. To me, he had the throne when Pac and Biggie passed. He was the bridge between Jay-Z. And Pac and Biggie. He had the throne. I mean, he was a lyricist. Great delivery, cadence, energy on the mic. This ain't no fake old rapper. Oh, he was my favorite rapper now. Nah. He literally, those first two albums, I just love when it can bring this whole crew just a bigger piece of cake for me to eat a whole through. I just love. <laughs> yeah, that dude was. And we didn't know how troubled he was back then because the internet wasn't out, social media wasn't out. So he had DMX come along, started his career in, in, during the social media age, oh my god they had caught him people would have caught him places, you know drug, all types of stuff but his his troubles the, what we knew of his troubles was what he admitted to in his songs and what he told us about but we didn't get to see videos and elevator footage and arrest footage and just different things but yeah, the brother, man. Oh my God. Let's get into this, man. DMX ODs and is in grave condition. DMX suffered a drug overdose Friday night and is currently in the hospital, and the prognosis is not good. Sources closest close to the rapper tell TMZ the OD occurred at his home around 11 p.m. Our sources say the overdose triggered a heart attack. DMX was rushed to the hospital in White Plains, New York, and is in critical care unit. We're told he has some, some brain activity. Another source says he's in a vegetative state. So it's between some brain activity and vegetative state. That's not good. That's not good. If the ceiling is some brain activity. That's not good. So I think we got to prepare ourselves. We have to prepare ourselves. To quote a great DMX song, I can feel it coming in the air tonight. Whoa. I waiting for this moment for all of my life. When he did, when he redid that Phil Collins song, man, he, <laughs> man, I forgot even Phil Collins even did that song. <laughs> God, dog, he took that joint and took it to the next level, man. Oh, man. DMX. was rushed to the hospital in White Plains, New York, and is in the critical care unit. We're told he has some brain activity. Another source says he, he's in a vegetative state, and doctors have cautioned he may not make it. As we have reported over the years, DMX, who was 
the cornerstone of the Rough Riders label, has battled substance abuse and has been in rehab several times. His last rehab stint back in 2019 came after he completed a 12-month sentence for tax evasion. At the time, we were told DMX hadn't relapsed but checked himself into rehab out of fear he might again as he felt temptations to use creep up on him again. I don't know what they meant by that, but he felt temptations creep up on him again. DMX made his return to the stage following the rehab in December 2019 when he hit Hakkasan in Vegas, chatting it up and taking photos with fans before he hit the stage. During the Vegas show, he took a moment to tell fans, when you fall down, get back up. Everyone here has been through some stuff and you never know what God is willing to do for you until you need him to do something for you. Last we saw him performing in July of 2020 when, he, when X faced off with Snoop Dogg in a versus battle, which saw more than 500K viewers tune in, proving he still had an incredible ability to bring an audience. And this is a this was great because he wasn't Snoop was supposed to do it against um somebody. I forgot who Snoop was supposed to originally do it against. Um originally do the 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 um his verses against. But that person it, it, it salute, salute. That person it didn't go through. That person was 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 unable to do it for whatever reason, and then DMX came in and did it, and it was the dogs versus the dog, and I and I and I and I thought DMX was out of his <laughs> depth going against Snoop, a man with like twenty years of his Snoop been putting out. Snoop got a hit from a couple years ago that um one with Deval. Um, I ain't going back and forth with you in words. So Snoop got he got he got hit in 1990. Yeah, and you don't stop. It's 187 on the undercover cop, and then he got hit in like 2017. So he got like 27 year period where he got hits, and DMX really only has 98 to like 02, four years, and DMX held his own. Man. I was like, wow, that's amazing. But um This was a blessing. I we gotta realize how, how the universe works. Cause without this we, we would have we would the last time we would have seen DMX as a like as a group, we wouldn't have got to see give him his flowers. And I'm glad we got to give DMX his flowers. Salute to the universe for that. We were able to give DMX his flowers before, you know. I mean, it's not looking good, man. I mean, vegetative state. Get in the comment section, man. Like, subscribe, donate. Peace, I'm out.